Hey everybody, it's episode 4 of Severance. This is possibly called The You You Are. It's the title of that book that is Friend, big quotation marks around that, wrote, I think. Last time we discovered the perpetuity wing. We also discovered from Petey, well he's been taken into custody now, but we discovered, he told us about this this place, this wing, this this part of the building where nobody is allowed to ever leave. Now, if I was working in this building and being severed when I went in there, I think that's preferable. I think it's preferable to never leave that building because you also have your downtime there. The severed people, as it is at the moment, all they're doing is working. They go in, they work, as they're on their elevator out of work, they're suddenly on the elevator coming back into work. They never get a break. So the people, the personalities inside that building are just work, 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 never stop, never stop. It's hell. But if you force them not to go home, if you force them to live in the building, then they could also have some downtime. They could have a, a healthy work-life balance. Now, they couldn't leave the building, but at least they would have something to stop them from going crazy, as long as they gave them something to do. You know, maybe we go into that cool mindfulness room with all the beeps and boops and that crazy lady. But who knows? It could be a hell. They could be forcing them to work 24 hours a day. You don't know. But that's sort of what they're doing anyway. The severed people? Severed dreams. Anyway... That was part of the last episode. Another part was another escape attempt. And she had to give a heartfelt apology or they wouldn't let her leave the room. What if she just couldn't do it? What if she couldn't convince them that she meant it? Like if you don't mean something, you can't you can't suddenly mean it. You know? It's tr it's a form of torture. And her resignation letter never got delivered. It never even got to her outside self. Or her outside self's piece of work. It is funny, though. She can't leave, right? She's trying to leave. She can't leave. But she does leave every single day. It's a weird one, isn't it? And there's no way for her to, to stay gone. Or remember anything. But maybe there's a loophole. Maybe there's a secret way out. Maybe maybe Mark can do something. Oh, and there's a phone. A mysterious phone at the end of the last episode. Let's get into this one. All I can be is sorry, and that is all I am. She's still reading it. Surely they're getting bored waiting for her to meet it, too. Just out, outlast him. Outlast him. I'm afraid you still don't mean it. Nope. Eh, it's only 5.15. We haven't been there that long. This is not like any break room I've ever been in. Where's the foosball table? We'll try again in the morning. But that's only... That's like straight away, isn't it? At least our wounded will have had time to heal. See you tomorrow, Heli. See you in a few minutes. In like 30 seconds. How's it going? Fuck me. Yeah? I read it 300 times yesterday. 259. Let's go for the record. Don't you have anything better to do, dude? What the hell is that voice? Forgive me for the harm I've caused this world. I really am sorry, okay? No paraphrasing. Again. You, have to, you have to read the exact words. You just don't want an apology. You want the exact words. Frick off, dude. Give me that opening music. Give me this opening music. Get out of here. Stupid break room. I'll break you. Hey, there's something oozing out of your garbage. Hey, hey, you got a kite that's made of you, dude. How, how, how did that happen? Reintegration. 
Who's on the phone? Locked. It's past 1100, and Helly's been in the break room since yesterday. Okay. You should check on her progress. Well, well, Mark doesn't have that power. Hi. Oh, hey, aren't you supposed to stop spying on us? Hi. Irving. Hi, Bert. Oh, uh, best friends. Exactly yeah. how the wet fuck do you know where this Dylan. office is? My predecessor, Alice K, came here once. She left directions. Give us them reversed. Okay, it's all right. <laughs> Irving, I kept thinking about what you said about the new handbook totes and... Ooh. A gift. I also wanted to extend an invitation. If an informal tour of O&D... Ooh, a tour. Directions are in the front bag, reversed. Hard pass. <laughs> he, might, he might come around. Thank you, Bert. Yeah. The only two friends in this whole damn place. It's absurd. We've never visited them before now. Let's all go. Let's get her out of the break room. I'll be back by one. He's gonna die. Oh. She's out. How many times? 500? 1,072. We made it. We made it to 1,000. What about the voice behind the door? Crying baby, you mean? No. Oh. I didn't hear any voice. Like the angry mumbly guy. Guys, really not supposed to talk about the break room. Break room sucks. But that's why we have protocols. And no, no, Mark, 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 stop, stop. The break room doesn't suck. It's it's weird cult-ass shit. Call it for what it is. I know you're new to the world. You don't know anything outside this building. It makes no sense. They're controlling you. And for what? Well, we know she tried to escape, but she just wanted to quit in the one letter. And she has to apologize a thousand times. Like she's a... a a kid who forgot to do their homework and now they have to write, I'm sorry, I didn't do my homework a thousand times. Like, come on, dude. Call it out for what it is. You're supposed to be looking after the team and their morale. Not spouting a bunch of company bullshit. I know maybe you don't want to go to the break room. But nothing's normal here. The numbers makes no sense. Your boss is weird. That second in command guy is the worst. And he sat there a thousand times listening to an apology and told her no a thousand times until she got it right. Until the machine said yes. I must go back and listen to the the voices with my my better headphones when I'm editing. And we'll see if there's something there. Maybe I was talking over it. That could happen. Ooh, what's this? A paint class? Hello? Who's that? It's the other one. Oh, hi. Bert's over there by shelf six. Shelf six. Don't touch anything. What about these cool little portraits? Can I look at them? Once the hall art's been cycled through all the departments, it ends up back here. And voila. Cherished workers drown it inside mm. you. Rise up from your deathbed and sally forth. More perfect for the struggle. He wants to work in this. Oh, they're connecting. He wants to work in this wing. I'm sorry. I have to go. He has to go back. It's an awkward romance. Maybe he could request a transfer. Really? What you look? What you doing? Four percent. Yes. Great work. Why are you so chipper? Careful with that four. They're looking at you funny. Oh, a camera. What are you looking at? What's in here? This is just a meeting room. You sure you should be in here, Irving? Yeah, the you, you are. What's this? How do you... you put that away? Shh. But what do I? It's a map of the hallways. I can't believe Petey was a mapper. Let me see. He's got wellness, it's got weird stuff on it. perpetuity. What the fuck is this? They look like houses, right? Clearly he was trying to tell you something. Uh, no. You're more loyal to this place than to your friend. I'm loyal to how it felt around here before you showed up. You mean when Petey was here? We could have fun and work without the whole goddamn department imploding. Work yeah. is bullshit. The work 
is mysterious and important. <laughs> and we deal with the uncertainty it brings us together as a family. I could not, with a razor to my throat, be less interested in being your family. Yikes. I don't think these are gonna hook up anytime soon. Your best friend left this for you, and you don't give a shit. And I think he does. Why do you think he didn't hand it in? You're don't, right. don't do it. I don't give a shit. Mark. Don't. Thank you, Helly. Now we can get back to work. Did you memorize it first? Mark. Hey. It's an emergency. <sighs> okay. Uh, all right. I was going to get Mr. Milchuk, but I thought it better. Oh. A book. A book from the outside world has appeared inside the building. We're not allowed any information from outside the building, inside the building. Didn't he deliver that book to Mark's house? Why is a map of all those houses on the floor plan? Is the outside world all part of the, the building? Don't overcomplicate it. Don't overcomplicate things until they're... Until things... Don't do that to yourself. Remember when I was saying last episode that maybe... You know how weird it is inside? Maybe the outside world is also weird? Maybe it's all one weird part of one weird thing. And a syringe? Anyway, book! Book! What do we do? What do we do? We read it? Don't read it. The inside mark won't know who this guy is. Maybe we should just hand it into that guy. It's just raining contraband today. What do you mean? It doesn't matter. There was a map. Has anyone seen anything like this before? What are you doing? Any notes in it? Damn. Mark. Mark. What is this? Maybe it's another PD message. Flip through, see if my name's anywhere. <laughs> I'll be turning this into Milchik. What? Why? Excellent decision, Mark. This is an idolatrous text that should be brought to him immediately. We should read it, maybe. Did she not get to see the book? Is she going to try and get the pieces of that map and stick them all together again? Are you out of your mind? So what's their space like? Stalactites and shit? <laughs> like a cave. <laughs> Helly? Excuse me, Helly! Jesus, Helly! I'm on a camera! What the hell is she doing? Is she gonna chop her hand off? So I can tape a resignation to my Audi, or you're going to have to explain the to her why she's missing four fingers. It's Cobell, right? Do I look like I'm fucking around right now? She looked crazy. Mr. Milchek. She wants out. Let her out. Could you get the video camera, please? Why would you why would you let somebody work here who really, really doesn't want to work here? Hey. No, we didn't get to see it. There's no way they're delivering this to you on the outside. Why is it where are we all going? Well, boss, I guess this is the part where I should tell you to go to hell. Except you're already here. Yeah, let's see if you let's see if you make it out. Or if you reappear in like three seconds. Maybe your Audi's a real piece of I was work. never sorry. Oh, I don't have much faith in this. She's back. They're all waiting for her. What's this? A taped reply? Hallie, I watched your video asking that I resign. I understand that you're unhappy with the life that you've been given. Yep. But you know what? Eventually we all have to accept reality. Here it is. I am a person. You are not. Whoa! She's a real piece and if of work. you ever do anything to my fingers, know that I will keep you alive long enough to horribly regret that. Your resignation request is denied. Turn it off. What a B word. Well, you're in a battle with now. Scroll down to explore our rustic birthing cabins. I don't know if he's out at the moment. One thing I would like to say is that I do appreciate that we can leave with Mark into the outside world. It gives us a, a little bit of a release from that place. My question is, importantly, will we see any of the other characters in the outside world? And if Mark can dis disassociate from the Severns thing, if he'll be able to reach out to them at all. But I wouldn't want to reach out to the Audi version of her I'm a person, you are not. That was harsh. Doesn't seem like her. Because you're the same person. Mark is the same. 
on the inside and the outside. Like he's broken on the outside, but the core of it, him is still similar. We could say Hallie's like she's determined on the inside, so she's equally determined on the outside. But who? Oh, if look, even if you were that, you're the one on the outside. Imagine that. You get a way of getting money, and you don't have to remember doing the work. Free money. You know? And you're like, well, it doesn't matter. Just free money. I don't care about that person on the inside. I'll never have to deal with it. I'll never have to remember it. They don't exist. If the person on the inside makes a video saying they're going to chop off your fingers, maybe consider quitting. Because you can't trust that the person on the inside hasn't gone crazy cuckoo. And you like your life out here with your fingers, don't you? Don't send back a threatening video, as effective as it might be. Just get out of there. So it's all sorts of wrong. All sorts of wrong, I say. Anyway, I like that we follow Mark outside. If we're even outside, we gotta assume we are until we're not. Don't overcomplicate anything. How much of this was Reagan's idea? 300% or 400%? Just get all of your snark out now or you're never gonna earn your uncle badge. He's dead. He collapsed from an unknown ill. Have you heard from the board yet? No. It wasn't your fault, Harmony. Since Petey reintegrated. The board's never acknowledged reintegration. We have to get his chip. He has a chip in his brain. His corpse is scheduled to be destroyed by cremation following his funeral on Sunday. Is this his funeral? I'm not sure he should be here, though. Mark. Mrs. Selvig? What are you doing here? News reports said that he worked at Lumen, so I thought maybe I, I, I knew him. Here. Oh, he used to come by my shop. He adored my hibiscus. Mm. Oh, my God. Well, on the upside, at least now we both have a date. <laughs> yeah. Uh, whiskey rocks. Oh, it's just wine, sir. Give me all your booze, dude. Uh, red, please. Yeah, I know you got whiskey back there. Don't give me this only wine shit. Hello. Were you a friend? He was my dad. Oh, oh daughter. I'm so deeply sorry. And I suppose you were close and everything. Hmm? Freaking lady. Get out of this funeral. I'm sorry, I don't know you. I'm Nina. Oh, uh, uh, Mark Scott. I'm Peter's ex-wife. Yeah. You're from Lumen. How do you know? That vacant expression that her husband used to have? So you didn't even know him at all? Well, I just figured I'd know him. Hey, Mom. Yeah. They want to start. It's nice to meet you. We'll see them again. So you knew my dad? Um... At work. Oh, you're one of those? Yeah. Do you ever think that maybe the best way to deal with a fucked up situation in your life isn't to just shut your brain off half the time? Nope. I'm not exactly sure. We'll have you here. Rock to It's rock and roll. Mm, good. good choice of sound, actually. Is she gonna dig the chip out of him? They aren't of Snow White. <laughs> well, she's getting it. She's very precise. No! <laughs> so, was the funeral just too sad or? I just really hate Metallica. But thank you for, you know, being my funeral buddy today. Huh. Stop spying on me. Stop breaking into my home. Get out of my life. 
I can't wait for when he finds out that she's his boss. Hey, maybe those houses were weren't where Mark lives, but where you know all those people who can't leave the building are. What are we doing out here? I think I might know what this is. Because he lost his, his wife, right? Which is part of the reason he severed in the first place. I can't remember the details of that. Whether it was an accident or, or what. Hey, the chip. That's Petey. I drilled it out of him at his own funeral. That's Petey. During the musical number. Oh, it's the mind mindfulness room woman. You requested me, Miss Cobell? I'd like you to run a special wellness session with yeah, Mark S. You were having problems at the funeral. <laughs> Kier invites you to drink of his water. Felicia said you'd be here. Mm. Awful to say I don't care for that one. It makes me nervous too. He could slip. Or he could fall. If I embarrassed myself. You didn't. Are you embarrassed? No. Good. I have four more stops. Would MDR consider joining me? Yeah, let's do it. MDR would. He doesn't just speak to us through the handbook, the paintings. He finds other ways. What do you mean? But I've lived abroad as a vagrant, abstaining from relying on reading the book. You're going to read the whole thing. Your job needs you, not the other way around. Hmm. This is the book of the devil. Mark? I'm gonna go. I'm working up till the bell. I think I may still crush this thing tonight. Hope you do. See you soon. See you in a bit. See you quicker than you see me. Is she gonna kill herself with a rope? What are you doing? What are you... He's a snoop. What you doing with it? What are you doing? Oh! Everybody's gonna be reading that book. Sometimes I ask people to sculpt how they feel out of clay. Would you like to do that? Absolutely not. We're all split up, all four of us. All with different things in our minds. for dreaming the start of it all okay. oh what's this place hey how are you good yeah seems like you're getting the hang of stuff here speaking of hang cool her audi's gonna wake up with a freaking noose around her neck ah no don't you dare I can't. No. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't do it. We can't do it. I don't want to do it. Do you want to do it? We can't do it. We have to find out what happened to her. I want to see how our Audi. Take that Audi. I presume she pressed the down button. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe she's just hanging there. Someone's going to find her. He made a little tree. That's kind of that's kind of nice. But oh no, that's the tree that he went to, isn't it? He drove to at night. Yeah, I just went back to look at the room that Irving walked into. Did he? He walk? Did he? He walked back to the same place, right? With the, the there's only supposed to be two people working in the whole place, and then there's a, a door there that leads to this huge area where there's like. Yeah, because look, you can see the two of them over there. I'll take a screenshot for you. I'll take it right now, so don't forget. So yeah, you can see Christopher Walken and the, his... I can't... I don't know what her name are. They're over there. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... At least seven other people. And they're all 
All these futuristic machines, what are they doing? I don't know. It's bustling down here, though. What are, what are they planning? What are they plotting? Who knows? Secrets. This episode should be called Secrets. Why didn't he ever, why didn't he answer that phone? How did nobody hear a drill at a funeral? I know they were playing, I know they were playing music. I know that. That was a cool, I like that actually, I like, I wasn't sure how I'd feel about it at the funeral. That little video clip of Petey and his daughter. Uh, playing to understand that. But it was um, really effective in, so, in a way. I, I really liked it. And I hope we get to see more of her and the ex-wife. And yeah, I hope we get to see more of that on the outside world. I'm really looking forward to that. I love Hallie's plans for getting out of there. She just acts like everything's fine. And then she does something. Like in the last episode... Just exploring the perpetuity. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> and in this episode, well, once she threatened to chop her fingers off, I thought she was going to paste back together the map. Maybe there's a clue in the map of how to get out of here. And keep your brain intact. See, ideally, any heli would be the real heli, and Audi heli would be, well, you can just get rid of her. We don't need her memories. She's a real jerk bag. So the anyone can, can take over by getting out without getting her memory wiped. Um, Irving and Bert. Bert is Christopher Walken's character. They had a friendship. Now it's moved on to something more. But now there's, there's secrets between them. There's a mystery. What's going on? You know, what is that place he stumbled onto? And uh, Dylan just doing his thing, you know. I appreciate that character. He's the only one who makes sense to me in that whole place, because he uh, he has a real passion for his work, like none of the rest of them do. Irving's a bit of a a zealot, a bit of a religious fanatic. I love the the the, the mentions of. You know the old old school scripture and new new scripture and you know very par parallels to religion everywhere in that the founders' words, the original intent intent behind them, interpretations, all that stuff. And Milchik is as creepy as ever. He wasn't too bad in this episode. And he did have to sit, stay in that room a thousand for a thousand apologies. It took her so long to, to give some of them. I'm surprised there were that many minutes in a day to get through them all. You know? If she was given one a minute, that's only 600 in 10 hours. She didn't seem up for reciting it quickly. And then he didn't like her paraphrasing either. So yeah, more interested than ever in what happens next because of the way they left it. Deliberately. Not a cliffhanger, it's an elevator hanger. Hang <laughs> hanger. <laughs> and we will find out what happens in that elevator. I presume, you know the way TV shows don't do it, but I presume at the start of the next episode, Sometimes TV shows deliberately leave you waiting. Like halfway through, they'll tell you what happened to her. I can't find out. I can't wait to find out. The next episode is called The Grim Barbarity of Optics and Design. That's the place Christopher Walken works. And we'll, uh, we'll see what all that's about next time. Thanks for joining me. Is that all I want to say? I think so. He shouldn't have showed up to that funeral, though. Imagine if they all did. Everybody who knew Petey just turned up at the funeral because they saw a thing in the paper saying he worked for Luma. 
And they're like, yeah, yeah, I might know him. I'll, I'll turn up. All the cast turn up, except Heli, because, you know, Heli just started there. Oh, that video. That video was cold-hearted. I, I was convinced she wasn't getting the resignation letter. I was convinced she wasn't getting the video. Now, it still could be a trick, but it's more interesting if it's not a trick, if she's just that cold-hearted on the outside. She didn't seem that in her intro interview, though. We saw another video of her before she... You know, when she was given her consent over video, it seemed nice in that one. Hmm. I don't know. We will find out the answers to all these questions. Hey, everybody. TV shows can have cliffhangers, but we don't have cliffhangers. Not around these parts, we don't. It's the next day, but I can't... I'm, I'm like, you know what? You know what? Let's watch the start of the next episode until we find out what happens to Ellie. If the music happens before we find out, then fair enough. I don't have time to watch the whole thing, but I need to. I need resolution on the cliffhanger. I just want to see who if she gets rescued, if she goes down in the elevator, if somebody finds her. You know, if if there's a warning system, if the elevator automatically untangles her, if she slips into a different reality when she tries to kill herself. Who knows what goes on in this reality? This build it's not just this building, it's this show. The show is in a strange world. You know? It's in this bizarre world. Where the normal rules may not apply. Don't overcomplicate it. Anyway, we're gonna watch the start of episode four. Up until we find out how Hallie survives her attempted suicide. And then we'll stop and then we'll watch the, the rest of it next time. Uh, that's what we're doing, because we don't do, we do cliffhangers occasionally, but not like this. No one, I want to see it. <laughs> no one, we have the opportunity to satisfy our curiosity. I don't want to leave you hanging either. Hallie's doing all the hanging for us. We don't have to. You know, you know what I'm saying? I know you know what I'm saying. Do I know what I'm saying? We're just gonna... We're gonna... Oh, if it's one of these shows that's just gonna show every other storyline and not hers, I'll be super mad. Let's, let's get into it. I hear... I hear an elevator. Yes! Yeah, screw you, Audi version of her. Screw you. Is that what you want every time you go to work? That security guy is gonna have a... There's nobody there! There's nobody there! Oh, she's gonna go back up. Ellie Lee? Yeah. Yeah, she left early. Not reading anything. Maybe you should get out of here. Wrapping up. Sorry, I love the work. He does love to work. That's why he fits in so well here. Oh, Mark's going to find her. At least the Audi got a little taste of it. You know what I mean? Oh, this guy's running. He knows. He sees it. Get her. Jesus. Grab her. Help! Help! Dude, get here quickly. Mark can't hold her forever. God damn it! She's okay. She just Was gave she her. Okay? She gave her Audi a little taste of. Mark, get in the elevator. Helly, get in the elevator. What do you mean, get in the elevator? But a whole twenty-four hours is gonna pass, dude. Is she okay? I don't know. You'll find out in a few seconds. She's fine. He doesn't even know. He has no idea. This one. Where were you? Judd? He didn't see nothing down here. He wasn't even at his post. That's where we'll stop it. 
there, some closure. I'm happy. I'm happy that um, because the, her Audi was such a an annoying and to, telling her she wasn't a real person and all that stuff. Well, I'll have a taste of that then. You know, she's going to work. Uh, going to work. Up the elevator. Oh, 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 I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. Yeah, think about that the next time you come to work. Think about that the next time you come to work. You wouldn't want to go in that elevator again, would you? <laughs> so that is that is closure for the end of last episode. We'll come back. I don't even know what the title of this one is. We'll come back and watch the rest of this one next time. Thank you for bearing with me with the schedule for the show. And, uh, yeah. We'll talk about last episode. We'll do the usual intro next time. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you.